Hi everyone, it's Antonielle here, and today we're doing the Meredith Dexbury 10 Pump Foundation Challenge. Before filming this video, I tried a few different foundations to see which one would make my skin less cakey. It just so happened that my favorite combination was the Bisu, which is a Mexican makeup brand, and the NARS foundation combination. That was a lot. <laughs> um, but these two together made my skin feel less heavy and less cakey at the end. And this was definitely a lot more than what I needed. I know that Meredith says that she uses this much to cover a lot of her freckles. I personally don't have freckles. And what I noticed on my skin tone is that it kind of washed me out. As you notice, I have a lot of contrast between my eyebrows and my skin. And when I threw all that foundation on top of my eyebrows, it just ruined my eyebrows for me. And I know that when you look at Meredith's skin complexion in comparison to mine, her eyebrows kind of match with the foundation. That was something that I wouldn't recommend to somebody, I would say, as much contrast as I do. I wouldn't add this to somebody who has dark, dark hair um, and medium, medium skin tone, tan skin tone as I do. Now, Meredith was not lying. The trick to this foundation look is blend, blend, blend. I did not think that all that foundation was going to blend to my skin, but fortunately it did. And then I did use a lot of powder. I think using the powder is what prevents it from becoming even more patchy throughout the day. But yeah, blend, blend, blend is the new motto because you definitely need to do that for this look. Now I'm going in with my classic Fenty contour stick, and this is definitely the amount I would put on if I'm going out on the night out on the town. I wouldn't add this to my daily makeup look because it's a bit too heavy of a contour, but definitely for a girl's night out. Here we are with a blend blend blending and I swear Meredith's, Meredith's arm must be so buff just from blending out her face so many times throughout her makeup. I mean, blending your face, what is that, 10 minutes of a workout on your arm every single day? I can't even imagine. For the rest of the makeup look, I am actually inspired by Meredith Dexbury again. Her February the 14th, I think she was at a Valentino show or something. She did a full pink makeup look, which is also inspired because I said, if we're going to do the Meredith Dexbury look, it might as well be all Meredith Dexbury inspired. So I went in with just a blush. Again, it's by the Mexican makeup brand Bisu, and I just went all in with the pink. And I loved how this turned out. I think that she has a really great vision really great creative vision um, and really just pulls things together in a really beautiful way. So I'm just going in with that same blush pink and piling it on my eyelids and just blending it out and trusting the process. I did go over my blush a few times just to make it more of an intense look. I didn't want it to see, seem like it was an accidental, I went too blushy. I want it to be very, I'm wearing pink type of look. As you can tell, I didn't do anything with my eyebrows because the foundation kind of washed the color of my eyebrows out, but I liked how this turned out overall. And here I am using the YSL contour stick, um, not the contour stick, the highlighting stick. And I don't have the Dior highlight 
palette, but I like this a little bit more. I think it's a little easier to work with and I think it's absolutely stunning. Am I jealous that I don't have the Dior contour, the highlighting? Yes, I am, but I really do love YL Cells makeup products, so I'm not complaining. And this part's here for you to all the Hispanic or Mexican girlies that grew up with their mother curling their eyelashes with a spoon. I couldn't find my eyelash curler when I always have a spoon handy. <laughs> so if you don't know, you don't know. And if you know, then you know. The mascara that I'm using, I believe is just like a drugstore one from Tijuana. It works really well. I think it cost me like 30 pesos, which is $1.50 and it works really well. It's just really hard to take off. I'm not a huge stickler when it comes to mascara. I think something cheap does the job when it comes to liquid eyeliner and mascara. I think that you can find something super, super cheap that's just as good quality as the $30, $40 ones. Um, and then here I'm putting the eyelashes on. I have such a hard time putting on eyelashes. I don't know if any of you do. I have really round eyes, so I always end up getting in my own way when I put on eyelashes. So if you would like a eyelash tutorial, please let me know and drop a comment below. Doing the nude lip just like Meredith Dexbury. What would Meredith Dexbury do? That's gonna be my question of the week. Um, so I went with the nude lip and then the concealer in the center. I personally didn't love it because I felt a bit washed out because my eyebrows were washed out and then you're adding something that's very similar to my own complexion. If I were to do this again in the future, I would add a bolder lip. But other than that, this I think this lip was like, not this lip, this entire look was pretty great. I think next time I would do probably a bolder lip and add a little bit of white in the center of the eyes just so I would pop out a little bit more. But other than that, Meredith Dexbury, you know what you're doing. And that's the final look, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions or comments right down below. See you next time.